Here he is. So we're just loading up on some coffee and we're going some dates and like pre-workout and snack. Well, I'll also be loading up on some of that. A lot of people haven't actually had a date before, right? So last night at nine o'clock, I left Newcastle, drove to here. Where are we? Like Bolton. Bolton, mate. Bolton. I was very lucky because Jason gave me his car. He's away at Amsterdam for the weekend. So me and George are going to spend the weekend together, get some runs in, get some training in. I haven't ran for 10 days because I've been ill. I've been focusing on weight and so this is gonna, this is probably gonna absolutely destroy me. Yeah, this is a proper run now. Is it? Be, yeah, it's gonna be hard. I would have been, I would have been gone back to the car. <laughs> Thanks, boys. No worries. Legends. See you, later, mate. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen point one kilometers done, and yeah, honestly, it destroyed me. At two point five k, I was like, George. <laughs> Need the car key, I'm gonna have to go back and then at least I will have done 5k. He's like, nah. He's I just like, give you that look. He's like, you're not going back. <laughs> and I was like, fuck's sake. And then I said to the lads, oh, how far is it? And they're like, oh, just 7k or something. And I was like, 7k? And I was like, fuck's sake, 5k left, then let's do it. And then it ended up being 13.1. Yeah, they lied to us. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done that route, so I don't have a clue how far it was. I was shocked. My legs are sore. Because that was, that was stop, start, up, down, up, down, mud, slipping. Um, but we we've done it. it all before 10 a.m., which is mad. Yeah, we need to get some good scrap. But thank you, bro. Thanks for thanks for bringing me. Uh oh. Sorry, Mac lad. Car's a bit muddy. This is nice. Mm. What's this place called? It's called Home. Um, I've not actually eaten here in the morning, but I ate here the other night. And how it, was it? Came with a friend, it's actually really nice. I... So we've got sourdough with butter and jam. We've got a breakfast muffin, looks unbelievable. And then George, what have you got? Steak and eggs, man. Unbelievable. Fire. That is fire. Oh. Probably the best steak and eggs I've ever had. Right? Was it? Seriously. So guys, if you're ever in <laughs> wherever we are, <laughs> are we in Bolton? We're in Bugshaw Village. People, the people who know where that is are gonna laugh. Get yourself to home. <laughs> Get yourself a good breakfast in. Hey. So after breakfast and a sunbed and then a trip to Tesco, we are now back home. I've just had a shower. I'm feeling on top of the world. I've made myself a cup of tea in a glass mug, and apparently George drinks whole milk. Who would have thought? And I've also got myself a lamb sip here as well. So plan of action. I'm going for a quick hour nap because five and a half hours sleep is not enough for me. And then we're going to go to the gym. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're 10 minutes out from the gym, sipping on new Ghost V2 pre-workout. It's literally unbelievable. I've been using it now for the last three weeks and literally my, my gym sessions have been next level. Give George two scoops as well. The new formula, you have to take two scoops to get the recommended dose. So I'm looking forward to see what George thinks because George is an expert when it comes to pre-workouts. The flavor we've gone for today is peach and we've also mixed it with some blueberry acai BCAAs. So 
Cheers. Okay, so workout complete. We didn't have to do that. We're in and out in 30 minutes. So, shows that you don't need an hour to do to smash out and work out. We literally smashed it in 30 minutes. Look at that chest pump, it's absolutely wild. Whoa! Tell them quickly what we did. We did chest, bench, five sets, build the weight up, and then we went on to two supersets. Biceps. Um, bicep curls with dumbbell bicep curls, and then we did- Five uh, sets of pull-ups, five sets of press-ups and we're even throwing some calf raises. Yeah. And now we've got 15 minutes to get ready before George comes and picks us up. George says that the other George is never late. He's never late. He's never late. If we're late, he's gonna... You good? Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, man. It's, it's decent whip. Like, I feel like we've met a million times. I know, same, same. How do you do this? Open here? Yeah. Fuck, that's absolutely mad. Cinema room, absolute vibe. Oh, George has been telling me about this bar all summer. This is a uh, Mike's whiskey bar, isn't it? Mike's whiskey bar. Uh, it's rocky. Gets mad in here. No, we got mad. Most vibes go down here. What do you drink, George? Um, I like dark rum. I like this malt head rum. This is really nice. I don't drink often, mate. I've had about three drinks this year. Three drinks this year? Yeah. No, he's not. He's not. Nah. <laughs> hey, I'm yeah. getting yeah. come right now. Who's saying you like it? I said it's Mike's whiskey bar. All right, Mike, quickly introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Mike. You can see. I, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is your bar. Welcome to Dirty Mike's. <laughs> what are you having, man? Dirty Mike's. <laughs> Usually, I'll, I'll come home from work seven, eight o'clock. I'll come in here and Mike will be propped up against a wall. <laughs> Absolutely not true. <laughs> Making me out to be like the worst guy ever. What are you drinking? What are you drinking? Um, Jack Daniels and Coke. For me, it'll just be Jack Daniels on the rocks. Yeah. Oh, on the rocks! On the rocks! Oh, told you, eh? He, he drinks. He's like you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers boys. Nice. Good to finally meet you. Big night. Big big night. Big night. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look at this. Espresso martinis for the boys, let's go. Dwayne Johnson. Sea bass, sprouts, lobster. What a vibe. Wow. Oh my god. Right, cheers, boys. Cheers Johnny lad. Right boys and girls, it is currently the next day. What a hectic day that was with George. All day Sunday, lay on the sofa, hung over, and then went for some food. It's now Monday. I'm going for a haircut with a good old friend of mine, Sam Benfam. I thought I'd add it into the vlog because I'm not sure how much is actually going on in this vlog. <laughs> Good to see you. Sorry, I'm late. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, 
Okay guys, so I never actually got to show you my haircut in the light because me and Sam were very rushed in the barbers. He wanted to film a reel for his Instagram so I couldn't use the tripod and it was all just very rushed. But I think he did an absolute sick job. My hair is looking absolutely unbelievable. Funny fact, Sam is the first barber that I ever let cut my hair. My mom is actually a hairdresser and she cut my hair all the way up until I was like 18. So Sam was the first person ever to cut my hair. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with it, as you can see. What I'm gonna do now quickly is I'm gonna show you how I style my hair using Blue Man hair products. Obviously, it's just been Black Friday and Blue Man have a massive sale on, so go and check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description to Blue Man. I told you, I've been using these hair products now for like three years and I wouldn't use anything else, so very, very happy. In the tutorial, I use the Ascend Volume Cream and the Cavalier Clay, so. sick to be honest um, other than that I'd like to say thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it um, again it was kind of just a bit all over the place it was very very last minute but the run the gym the night out we had a good time good vibe so sick to meet George Heaton finally and of course it's always good to see my George so see you guys in the next one thanks for watching make sure to subscribe leave a thumbs up see you soon